So I've wanted to do this video for a while now and I've just around about got time to put it together. It's basically looking at how you can externalize a graphics card. When I was working on the XPC360 project, which is this one, I took an Xbox 360 case, gutted it, built a fully fledged gaming PC inside. To try and cut down on power and space, I used an AMD APU, it's a 3200G, and it played quite well, it played games very well. Um, but speaking to people on social media, there was a suggestion about actually externalizing a graphics card so that you could get a bit more power out of it. And I started doing some research and found that you can actually externalize graphics cards using something simple like this. Now this is a PCI Express riser card and they're mo most often used for things like mining PCs so if your PCI Express slots are too close together to fit multiple graphics cards in you can actually extend them out with these. These are pretty cheap, you can pick them up for two or three quid uh, which isn't bad for what you actually get because sometimes even just a USB cable would cost, uh, would cost you that but I picked one up anyway. I never got a chance to actually finish the externalization of the graphics card for that project, but one of the questions I did have when I was doing a bit of research was, do you see any actual performance hit on your graphics? Now research tells me that you do, because what you're doing is you're actually converting from a one times PCI Express to a 16, and obviously you're not gonna have as much coming through that. But I like to try things and see what actual impact it will actually have. So. I'm going to hook up a graphics card to my test bench. I'm going to run a benchmark on it, something from the Unigen benchmarks, see what it comes out with. Then I'm going to hook this up, put the graphics card in this and externalize it, and then rerun the test again. And we're going to see what kind of frames we lose doing that conversion. So I'll pop over to the test bench and get it all hooked up. Now I've already took my benchmark with the graphics card in the motherboard directly and the card that we've been using on the test bench is the Radeon RX 560 it was already on the motherboard and I thought it gives us a good test because it doesn't require any external power supply either and that's good because it means I don't have to run any more cables to it so what we'll do now is we'll hook the external system up and just place it onto there you have to connect a SATA to power cable which is a six pin which presumably gives the power to the card. On the motherboard you need to drop in a PCI Express to USB adapter just like that. Then the USB cable connects both together and then we're ready to install our graphics card. So very similar to installing it on the motherboard you just want to pop it into the clip system, slide the peg across, and that will lock the graphics card in. And then connect up the monitor. Now we'll boot this up, rerun the test, and we'll see what we get out. So actually it performed really, really well. Um, when the graphics card was on the board, we got a 48.9 FPS. It's, a, it's an old graphics card, that's what I would expect. But when externally, so when we're converting from a 16 times to a one times, we're still actually getting a 47.8 FPS. So we just dropped one FPS. Now this might be a different, totally different story if the graphics card is a higher powered graphics card that requires lots more external power but I'm sure you'd supply that anyway 
maybe higher performance graphics cards actually do use more of the PCI Express. But if you are looking to build a tiny mini ITX, maybe into a games console kind of PC, and you want to actually get a bit more performance than an APU can provide, you can externalize your graphics card with one of these and it will perform quite well. So if you like watching this video, make sure you hit the like. And if you want to see more on different random things like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and we'll do some more with some other types of devices.